What's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how to bounce a track in Ableton. So let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and bounce out a track from Ableton Live. And as you can see, I have an Ableton Live session already open. And I'm sure your session is going to is going to have a lot more going on than mine because all I have in mind is just one song that I imported. But anyway, just for simplicity's sake, uh, I imported just one song so I can show you how to bounce out that track. But I'm sure yours has got a lot going on. But anyway, uh, let's, let's take a listen to what this track has to offer first before we bounce it out. Alright, you get the idea. That's a little delayed guitar track that I've created. But anyway, let's go ahead and bounce this track out. So basically, once you're done producing and, and creating all these cool tracks, um, you just simply go up to File, go down to Export Audio slash Video. And then from here, you have a ton of options. Okay, now one the first thing that I want you to focus on is the length, okay? By default, it will put it at zero. It should be 0 .0, or 001, and you need to make sure to change that to how many bars are in the song, okay? Because if you see in the parentheses here, it has bars, beats, and sixteenths. So that's what each one of these boxes represents. But the bars is probably the most uh, important. So if you take a look over here down, down at the bottom, you can see the entire track in its entirety, but it also counts off how many bars and beats there are. So for, um, for safety's sake, I'm going to put 129, just so we can make sure we capture everything within the song. So here, I'm just going to type in 129 and then hit enter. Boom, I should be good. And from here, it's basically up to your options of whatever you want. If you want to normalize the song, uh, if you want to render as loop, and then the file type, and, and so on and so on. Just make sure that all your settings are correct, and then you just simply go down to OK and hit OK. And that's going to ask you what you want it to type. And you know what? I think Bounce Demo was fine. So let's just type Bounce Demo. I'm going to save it to the, the desktop just for the time being and hit Save. And that's going to take a second for it to render out. Shouldn't take too long, though. Uh, Ableton Live is pretty good at um, rendering stuff, especially if there's not much going on like in this session. It's just one track. Should be almost done here. Awesome. So let's go ahead and check on the desktop real quick. Let's go to my finder. Let's go to desktop. Let's go to bounce demo. Play. Awesome. Perfect. So there you guys go. All right, so that's pretty much it and how you bounce a track from Ableton. If you do have any other questions, please let us know, and thank you for watching.